Hello everyone, this is Love King Tara, and I am here to do a reading for Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine, this is your weekly reading for this week. Um, keep in mind that divine this reading can also resonate with the Divine Masculine or a man who's in his feminine energy, if or when the energy manifests. So keep that in mind as well. This reading could be for a Divine Masculine or a man. So um, just keep that in mind. So, I'm going to just go ahead and jump in. So, Divine Feminine, please keep in mind that the reading, it may or may not resonate with you. Some parts of the reading might resonate. Other parts of the reading might not. As well, keep in mind that time is fluid. So, this reading can manifest this week. It can manifest later on down the line of time. Or this present reading could be past energy for you. If this present reading is past energy for you, then there might be answers or closure for you in this present reading. That pertains to your past situation or circumstance. So, I didn't get messages during a pre-shuffle. So, I'm going to just show you guys what's at the bottom of the deck that I'm using. So, at the bottom of this deck, we have meant to be. This relationship is magical. It's meant to be. At the bottom of this deck, we have Queen Rising. Stepping into power, praise, coming up, spotlight. At the bottom of this deck, we got purpose. Someone who knows what they are meant to do in life, understands their life mission, plays no games, has the facts. And I, I got to shuffle this deck right here. I forgot to shuffle this deck. Alright, so we got justice. It say cause and effect, win-win solutions, truth, clarity. Divine feminine, you could be a Libra dealing with a Libra or got Libra in your chart. Then we got mature woman at the bottom of this deck. At the bottom of the angels deck, we got yes. So divine feminine, I looked over, like right before I clicked on the video, I looked over and saw this at the bottom of the deck. And um, I heard something looks like a no, it feels like a no, or it appears to be a no. But it's really a yes, but you might have to wait. You might have to wait for like a, the yes to manifest or for like a gra congratulations to manifest or for something to go your way. Some type of acceptance, approval. You might have to wait for something. And then at the bottom of this deck, we got purity. All right. So. Um, all right. So. For the display cards, I picked you guys the angel number for this week and um, an oracle, your overall energy. And what came out for you, Divine Feminine, was release. And I'm going to read it. Let's say release. Autumn, autumn light. All right, release. The sacred landscape wants you to know. When you receive this card, it is time to let go and surrender. Let go of situations, people, and objects that do not serve you. Let go of old, outmoded, self-limiting beliefs that drag you down. This is a time of stepping away from superficial distractions until you reach who you are at your core. If you are holding on to the old, it is difficult for anything new to come into your life. Begin to clear your home and living environments of clutter. If you don't love it or use it, it is properly clutter. Clear it out of your space. It's time for a detox. To get ready for the new, you must release the old. And I also heard Aries. I heard Aries too. While I was talking, a, like a second ago, I heard Aries. Um, so Divine Feminine, you could be an Aries dealing with an Aries or you have Aries in your chart. All right. And then for your angel answer, two cards came out. And they say, ask your angels and let go. Ask your angels and let go. So what I picked up from your angel answer was Divine Feminine. Once you um, ask your angels, let it go. Let it go. Um, leave it there. Don't worry about it, Divine Feminine. Once you make your request known or you set your intentions, you do what you got to do, let it go. Like, don't worry about it. Um, it'll manifest in due time. So whatever you're trying to manifest, your intentions, things like that, 
ask your angels and then let it go. Or divine feminine, you could um you could be asking your angels something, or you could be in prayer this week. You might not get an immediate answer. So ask and then let it go. Ask, don't worry about it, and like let it go. Like something like that. Like don't worry. So you might have to release worry or release fear or something like that. Ask and then let go. Or re I heard release impatience. You might have to release being impatient because it's like you might have to wait for something. And I don't know how long. I don't know. All right. So let me just go ahead and jump into the reading. I'm going to try to keep it short. All right, so I'm using the Kipper deck, so let me just go ahead. All right. What's going on with Divine Feminine this week? What's the read? What's going on? What can Divine Feminine expect? What do Divine Feminine need to know? All right, so we got coughing in reverse. So something is not over. That's for sure. Something is not over. Then we got main female. Um, this is my card for a karmic female. Don't have to be. But um, this could be telling me divine feminine. If you're dealing with a lover, it could be a current lover or an ex-lover. It could be telling me that your lover or your ex, did, he didn't let go of um, his third party or his, or his other lover or something like that. Somebody's not done with their, with their karmic. Like, it's not over. So divine feminine, an ex could be coming back to you, trying to reconcile with you. And he's telling you he's done with the karmic. And no. No, it's not over. So that could be telling me that. Or somebody's not done with a karmic cycle. So this could be a karmic female that's in the process of evolving. Or um becoming a divine feminine. But her dark night of the soul is not quite over. Somebody is still in like a karmic cycle. So this main female is still a main female. I mean, this main female is still a karmic. That could be telling me that too. Somebody has not evolved. They didn't change. We got pathway. Yeah. So somebody might be stuck in a karmic cycle for another year or two. <clears throat> Divine Feminine, you might figure something out this week. That, yeah, something that somebody could have been going through for the past year or two. Divine Feminine, you could have been thinking something is over, but it's not. Or somebody might come and tell you about their, about whatever they're going through in life or something like that. Somebody might come and tell you something about they, something they've been going through for the past year or two. Or somebody... Or somebody is still going to be a karmic for another year or two. Or it's like this man, he's still going to be involved with this karmic for another year or two. Because something is not over. So something is not over. And it's going to be for like another year or two. So divine feminine, you might have to take the higher role. You might have to be a, you might have to be a little bit more patient with something or someone. Um, this could be you taking a higher role. This could be you changing your perspective, thinking on a more high vibrational level about something. Yeah, we got toy on labor. Yeah, so this main female, she tore you in labor. Um, Divine Feminine, this main female, she probably tore you in labor to cause havoc, to cause hell in your life. Or this main female could be putting herself in danger. This main female could be putting herself in danger. Divine Feminine trying to put you in danger. Or this main female work in a hazardous environment. Some type of toil and labor. And then we got main mail at the bottom of the deck. Yeah. 
So Divine Feminine, this main male could be your current lover or your ex. And he probably a karmic. And he could still be dealing with that karmic female or something like that. This can also be like, um, that main male to me sometimes could also be like a pimp. And he could be having that main female work for him. This is like hazardous labor. This is also my card for like a paramedic, a police officer. Um, it don't have to be that type of career, but this is someone who works in, in um, hazardous environment or the work is very uh, hazardous. A dangerous line of work, legal or illegal, that toil and labor. Somebody could literally work in a factory. This main female, she a Carmen? Mm, it's telling me she not. Okay, so that main female is not a Carmen. Divine Feminine, you could be that main female. And something is not over. Let me see. This main female. Is this Divine Feminine? This main female? Divine Feminine, you could be working at a, a karmic career or something. No, that main female, not you. Divine Feminine, you probably don't even know who this main female is. She's not a karmic and she's not you. Or this main female could be somebody's ancestor. Divine Feminine, this could be your energy. You toil and laboring. Um, this main female, if she's somebody's ancestor. Divine Feminine, you might have to endure something for another year or two. But this main female could be watching over you. So you could be working in like a karmic career. Divine Feminine, you could be paying down karmic debt. Or you could be on some type of karmic cycle or something. Because it's telling me this main female is like, she could be an ancestor. That's why coughing is in reverse. She like, yeah. So the main feminine, this main female, female might enter your life and be in your life for the next year or two. Or something like that. While, you, while you're in this energy. Now I see why um, Spirit was guiding me to pull on this pra my practical deck. Because Divine Feminine, you might have to take a practical approach about something. So Divine Feminine, you could be working on something. That, you could be working on something. This could be you trying to manifest something. It's not easy. This is toil and labor. Yeah, so you could be in the process of manifesting something. And it, it took time, or it's going, this is going to take time. So let me pull a practical card. Or Divine Feminine. Uh, for some of y'all, I'm picking up that main female could be your superior or something. And it's like divine feminine. If you like working in a karmic career, and it's like is is almost unbearable. It's like divine feminine. You want to quit or you want to find another job. It's like this main female is gonna be in this. It's like this main female could be your superior. And it's like divine feminine. If this main female leave this job, your job is gonna get worse if she leaves. So it's like spirit could be keeping this main female in a position of authority for your sake or something like that, divine feminine. Or for the sake of these worst or, or for the sake of the job in general or the workers. Because it's like if this main female leaves, something might go from bad to worse or something like that. Because she's not a karmic. But for some of y'all, y'all don't even know this main female. Or if divine feminine, if you work for like a a uh, factory or something. This main female could be the owner. She probably owns this factory. 
And she might sell the factory in like a year or two. And your work conditions might improve or something like that. Because something not over just yet. And it might take another year or two. So, what is spirit suggesting for the right thing to do, to do practical? For this week, what is spirit suggesting for divine feminine to do practical? It came out in reverse. So divine feminine, I'm picking up whatever type of. The, let me see something. Did I ask was this toil and labor your energy? Let me see. This toil and labor is this divine feminine? Yeah. Okay. So divine feminine. Your hardships is not because you did something wrong. So to my family, you, you, this could be a karmic career or something that's just hard or some type of hardship. The my family is not because you did nothing wrong. This is probably not even you paying down karmic debt. This is just um, to sharpen like your character or something. Or well, this is just part of the process. It's not that you did nothing wrong. You didn't do anything wrong. So it's like Divine Feminine. What Spirit wants you to do practical this week is maybe stop thinking negative about yourself. Like you, you don't have to. It's like Divine Feminine. You didn't do nothing wrong. This could just be the downside of success or the downside of manifest, manifesting or something. Yeah, it could just be a part of life. It's not that you did something wrong. You're not being punished. It, you didn't do nothing wrong. So, Divine Feminine, I don't know what you're doing. Divine Feminine, you could be um doing like cleansing work or something that you don't even have to do. Or you could be asking for forgiveness or something. And it's not even, that's not even the case. So, Divine Feminine, you might have to release, like, some self-sabotage energy or, like, you condemning yourself or you saying you going through this because you did something wrong or something. Spirit wants you to stop. Because it's not, this is not shadow work. Divine Feminine, you don't have to do shadow work. And that's what you need to do practical. Stop doing shadow work or something like that. <coughs> or well, Divine Feminine, stop telling people your business. That's what that could be too. The right feminine, stop telling people your business. Because it say in the upright, it say uncover every part of you that has been repressed and abandoned. Or the right feminine, I don't know if you got to protect yourself or something. The cards could be, this card could be telling me to tell you, divine feminine, stop doing shadow work. Stop, stop beating yourself up. You're not um paying down karmic debt. You didn't do nothing wrong. This hardship is just a part of life. You didn't do nothing wrong. Um, or this could be telling me to tell you, Divine Feminine, you need to cover every part of you that has been repressed and abandoned or something like that. But I'm picking up, I'm picking up mainly Divine Feminine, stop beating yourself up or don't think that Divine Feminine, you might have to change your perspective. You're not going through this hardship because you did something wrong. Or something like that. Don't think like that. Yeah, don't think like that. Yeah. So that's what spirit wants you to do practical. Stop doing shadow work. And this could even be like... um Divine Feminine, you probably be doing protection work. And you don't have to. This hardship... Divine Feminine, I don't know if you was thinking somebody was doing... uh some type of work on you and they're not this is just a part of life this is not like somebody doing spell work on you or something like that it's just a part of life it's just a downside of life every time somebody go through a hardship that doesn't mean they did something wrong um that doesn't mean somebody's doing spell work on you that don't always mean that so to my feminine, it could just be your time to go through a hardship or something like that. It's probably just your time. Because in the past, it's like 
Things was sunny. Things was clear. You was at peace. You could have been content. <coughs> and it's like now in the present, you toil and labor. Or divine feminine, you could be losing hope. It's like in the past, you had hope. You were seeing light at the end of the tunnel, and you could be losing hope. Like, you feel as though you got to work for something. You got to... Mm-mm. Something is just a part of life. And um, divine feminine, you're going to get out of this situation as well. Um, the rain don't last always. Storms don't last forever. So things like that. Yeah, something like that could be going on. And then we got show more gratitude about a large lump sum of money. Hmm. Someone could be facing an addiction. Divine Feminine, I'm also picking up. If you had addictions in the past, be careful. Because you might relapse or something this week. So just be careful. You could be worrying yourself to death. Or you could be afraid or something like that. And just be careful of relapsing. Divine Feminine, I also just saw too. Spirit could be sending you through a hardship. And it could be financially. So you won't relapse. It's like you don't have the money, Divine Feminine. To like purchase whatever this is. Or something. It's like you don't have the money. And he's doing it um, for your betterment. So you won't relax. Or something like that. So something could be a blessing in disguise. Some type of discomfort. Some type of hardship. It could, it's a blessing in disguise. And Divine Feminine. That main female could be an ancestor. I heard she dead all right. <laughs> so the wife family, this is the ancestor. Yeah, that's what I heard. She yeah, yeah, she dead all right. <laughs> the wife family, this main female might be with you for the next one to two years. You're not alone while you're going through this hardship or whatever this is. You're not alone. Yeah, this main female gonna be in your energy. Yeah. So, all right, give me terror with coughing in reverse. The tower, yeah, unwanted change, ruin, disgrace, sudden upheaval, disaster. The tower, so do I tell you, you could be a Scorpio. Yeah, somebody could definitely be a Scorpio. We got coffin <laughs> and a tower. Somebody could be a Scorpio dealing with a Scorpio guy. Scorpio on their chart. Um, I think the tower could be Aries as well. Or is it judgment? One of them, one of the major arcanas is Aries as well. Um, the tower don't necessarily have to be no, nothing negative. It could just be something unexpected. It could be something good or bad. Divine Feminine, you could have been thinking something was over. Or this was your last go-round with this drama. Or something like that. I also see Divine Feminine, the coffin in reverse with pathway. Could be the past. And this is the present. So it's like divine feminine. Say like in the past, you was going through upheaval, hardships. It's like divine feminine. In the past, you was going through this by yourself, or your ancestor wasn't as close by. Um, so divine feminine, I'm picking up for some of y'all. Y'all was going through a hardship for the past year or two, and you could be coming out. If you're not coming out. You're more encouraged than you was. Um, you're more, you're, um, since the beginning of this hardship, it's like divine feminine, you're, it's like divine feminine, you can take this hardship as if it's not a hardship. 
It's like you're learning how to deal with it. You're learning how to cope with it. You cool, you comfortable, and you content in spite of the hardship. Because it's like in the past, you could have just been alone or you felt alone. But it's like in the present, this main female is here. But she's not a karmic. So this is somebody's ancestor or something. So the white feminine, you could you have to either endure something for another year or two. But you're gonna be aware of help. You're gonna be aware or you're gonna be okay with it. Like something like that. You're not as depressed, you're not as confused, you're not as angry. Like things like that, you could be making peace with something. In spite of still being in the midst of it. So some of you guys are going to have to deal with something for another year or two. And other you guys, it's like you could be coming out of something that you've been going through for the past year or two. Give me, um, so this coffin being in reverse it's going to be a tower. So somebody was thinking something was over and it's not. Or in the past, Divine Feminine, you thought something was over. And when you found out it wasn't over, it was a tower for you. Or something like that. All right. Give me Tarot with this main female. The page of wands, yeah, that could definitely be somebody's ancestor. This page of wands to me could sometimes be somebody's ancestor. <clears throat> Divine feminine, this main female probably watches you, whether she's an ancestor or not. She's not in your life to cause you harm. She's not a karmic. She's absolutely Divine feminine. This this main female probably proud of you, or she could be a secret admirer or something. She's like the page of wands. She's very optimistic. Divine feminine, this main female could be your daughter. And it's like divine feminine, whether you're aware of it or not, this main female, she watches you and you inspire her. Or she's an inspiration to you or something like that. But an active kid, a student, a new project, freedom, exploration, excitement. Or Divine Feminine, this main female might send you a message this week or something like that. She might send you a message. If this main female is your superior at work, Divine Feminine, she might call you into the office or she's going to give you a bonus or something like that. Or she might tell you you can leave early this week. Or it's like Divine Feminine, if you needed more hours at work, she might approve you of more hours or overtime or something like that. But I'm picking up, if this main female is like a human, she's still living, she don't have no issue with you. She's not a karmic. So you inspire her or she inspire you or something like that. But she's very optimistic or this woman going to send you a message or something. This main female. Um, give me tarot for, um, pathway. And we got the eight of cups. So the page of wands, that's fire, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. And then we got eight of cups, that's water, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. Somebody could definitely be a Scorpio or got Scorpio in their chart. Somebody could have Scorpio in their south node. And they're rising somewhere. Divine Feminine, you could be helping that main female, whether you're aware of it or not. It's like this coffin in reverse could have happened to that main female. So the white feminine, this main female could also be a new co-worker. Or like a co like divine feminine, you probably work with that main female and y'all never really um you never really talk to her, 
But you or her might collaborate or have a conversation or something this week. Or something like that. Or divine feminine, maybe you're the um superior. And that main female want to talk to you. So divine feminine, you could be the superior. And you got a lot of work. It's very stressful because you're the superior. You're the boss or something. And that main female might um send you a message. Or something. But no, nah, that main female could be your superior or something. Divine Femme, I also heard that main female, she live a good life because of you. So that could be your daughter or something, Divine Feminine. It's like Divine Feminine, you go to work every day, you bust your behind. Like for your kids, your daughter could be a teenager, she could be an early adult or something like that. I heard that main female, she live a good life because of you. Because of your toil and labor. Or something like that. So this main female could have experienced a tower in the past. And in the present, she's optimistic because of you, Divine Feminine. Or you encourage this main female in some type of way. <clears throat> so the Eight of Cups. So, somebody could be leaving the past behind. Somebody could be leaving the past behind. Whatever been happening the past one or two years, somebody could be emotionally walking away from it. Or somebody's accepting something. Yeah. Give me um, Tarot for Toy and Labor. Yeah, the Three of Cups. So we got more water, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Okay, so friendship, celebrations, a circle of support, community, happiness. Yeah. So to my family, you, you probably encourage a friend. You might meet a new friend at work. Divine Feminine, you and your superior might become closer or y'all gonna have like an intimate conversation. With, yeah, something going to happen. It could be at work or something. Yeah, something. So the three of cups. Yeah. There's going to be some type of celebration. Or some type of reconciliation. If this is a third party situation in love, divine feminine, your lover could have been your lover's third party. She could be a divine feminine like you. Like both of y'all could be divine feminines. I don't know if this man is a divine masculine or if he's a karmic, but the third party could be a divine feminine like you. She's not a karmic. Or she can be um like a star seed or a indigo, a indigo child, or she could be something else. Because it told me. She's not you or she's probably not a divine feminine. But she could be something else like a star seed or she consider herself a star seed or something or earth angel. But she's not a karmic or something like that. Yeah, then we got the ace of cups. So there's going to be some type of like rejoicing in the midst of like a bad situation or the, something something positive is coming out of like some type of negativity something positive or something like that so some type of celebration that three of cups Or Divine Feminine, that main female going to tell you something. And it might be some juicy gossip or something, Divine Feminine. Something you needed to know. So Divine Feminine, say like the main female is your co-worker. Or she's your superior. And it's like Divine Feminine, one of your superiors is the one that's making the job hazardous. It's like Divine Feminine, this main female going to come and tell you. She going to say, don't tell, don't tell nobody I told you, but... So much on getting fired. So 
in a couple of weeks, we're not going to have to worry about this toil and labor because so-and-so getting fired. Like, something like that. Somebody come there, somebody going to tell you something. This three of cups, this could be gossip. And the my family, you gonna be like, what? Or something? Or the my family, that main female gonna tell you. The my family, if somebody could be gossiping about you or something, that main female gonna say, don't worry about that. I know someone's so lying on you. Don't worry about it. Like something like that. Something. And you and that main, main female might start laughing or something. Yeah. All right. What's the spill with coughing and reverse in this tower? So, like, from the coughing and reverse could be your lover cheating on you. It could be your lover won't leave the third party alone. It could be somebody that keeps gossiping about you. Somebody that keeps starting trouble with you. Something that kept happening. The right feminine, you thought something was over. You or this main female, somebody thought something was over. And it's like somebody going to have to deal with something for another year or two. Or somebody was dealing with something for the past year or two. That they thought was over. Or the right feminine, this main female... You and her could have been dating the same man. And she might tell you she divorcing this man or she left him or something like that. Something. You and this main female might start laughing or something. But, oh, my God. If somebody not a Scorpio, I don't know what this. I don't know what's going on. But the eighth house, this Scorpio. The tower. <laughs> coughing in the eighth house. Lord have mercy. This situation involves cycles, death, and rebirth. Someone's attitudes towards change, personal growth. Yeah. Or that main female, like I said, could be somebody's ancestor. Yeah, somebody was doing something for the cloud. Lord have mercy. This main female could be a Scorpio. What's the spill with the main female with the page of wands? Oh, I don't know if somebody could have went missing. Divine Feminine, I don't know, Divine Feminine, if somebody could have went missing, like, two years ago, this person is not deceased. This person is not deceased. I don't know if this main female could be in um, captivity, or she just could have left and ran off, but this woman is not deceased. So somebody could be missing, and Divine Feminine, you or somebody else think that somebody could have got killed? This person is still alive. And they could be a Scorpio. They still alive. Then we got hooked. Addicted to someone or something. This main female could have skipped town and or went to another country to be with a lover or something. Somebody is, if this is like a missing person, and um this person could have been missing for a, um for maybe a year or two. This person not dead. Or somebody is going to go missing this week. And they're going to be gone for a year or two. It's like somebody just going to be missing. But they're not dead. Yeah, something like that. Somebody could have been toiling and laboring trying to figure out where somebody at. Trying to get justice for somebody that was missing. What's the spell with pathway in the eight of cups? Or oh, this is somebody's ancestor. And maybe this um main female could have got 
killed or she passed away because she was hooked on something or somebody. But this woman is in your energy, Divine Feminine. So I also heard, Divine Feminine, you could have been getting messages beyond the grave. So Divine Feminine, I don't know if somebody's going to give you peace about something. Divine Feminine, you might um, be closing out a karmic cycle around grief. This main female could have passed away in the past. And you're going to get a message beyond the grave. This main female could have been hooked on something or somebody. This main female, she could have passed away from like an overdose. Or somebody did something to her. Or something like that. Divine Feminine, you could have been toiling and laboring. Um, about somebody passing away or something. You could have been trying to figure out you wanted confirmation that your loved one passed away in peace. That, yeah, something or something like that. And you might get like confirmation that your loved one passed away in peace or something like that. I don't know if they could have found her in the woods or something. Or something like that. Or Divine Feminine, you might be releasing somebody's ashes this week. I just heard, saw that and heard that. Somebody could be releasing somebody's ashes. All right. Yeah, somebody not really dead. Or Divine Feminine, if you was wondering if somebody passed away because of dark magic, it wasn't really dark. It wasn't. It's like this person could have passed away from heartbreak because they was hooked on someone. They was in love with someone. This person could have passed away because they was doing drugs. Um, it's like nobody did a death ritual on this person. They could have did a death ritual on themselves, really. Um, but nobody really did a death ritual on this person. So the right feminine, you could have been wondering if somebody got murdered, was it foul play? Or was it natural? Like something like that. And Divine Feminine, I'm hearing it was not, nobody did spell work on your loved one if something happened. They could have, if anything, they did it to themselves. Like, they could have passed away because they was hooked on drugs. Or, um, or this person could have passed away from heartbreak or something like that. It wasn't, um, nobody, it wasn't foul play. It wasn't foul play. Or something like that. Or it's like somebody, if somebody is missing, this person is not deceased. This person could be in captivity or something, but they're not deceased. Or they can be like in a occult. This woman could have ran away with a man. And she's like in like some type of group or something. Or something like that going on. Yeah. Bad energy coming out in reverse. Yeah. Divine Feminine, I don't know if that main female could be your daughter. And you could be saying, oh, it was my fault. She ran away. It's my fault. But Divine Feminine, no. No. You toil and labor in Divine Feminine. It wasn't because you was a karmic. Yeah. Low vibes came out in reverse. Bad energy came out in reverse. Or Divine Feminine, you looking for somebody and, and it's not foul play. Like, this person could have just skipped town or they went to another country or something with a lover or something like that. Yeah, Divine Feminine, this could be you putting out flyers and y'all trying to figure out where that main female at. Or something. So Divine Feminine, if you in that labor, toy and labor, it's not because you did something wrong. Or, Divine Feminine, you could be toiling and laboring and you worried about something. And, Divine Feminine, this other person is not in, like, no type of danger or nothing like that. Somebody could be missing, but they're not in danger or something like that. <clears throat> and, 
It's like divine feminine. You toil in labor because somebody else three cups. Or something like that. This person out having a good old time. In divine feminine, you worried about where somebody at. Or something like that. Or the wife from now. Also, see, that main female could be trying to teach you a lesson. It's like she wants you to appreciate her, so she left. She left. And it's like she's watching you. She knows she... It's like this main female know you going through hell. And she's sitting back watching you. But she's not a karmic. So it's like Divine Feminine, I don't know if you just had to learn a lesson. Maybe you was too overbearing on this main female if she's your daughter or something. You could have been too much for her. So she just up and left. She ain't tell you where she was going. Nothing. It's like she trying to teach you a lesson or something. But not in a negative way or something like that. But Divine Feminine, you could have been being overprotective of that main female. But you wasn't really wrong. You wasn't wrong when you was whatever this is. Yeah, somebody just just left or something like that. What's this spill with pathway and eight of cups? Yeah, self love. Yeah. Divine Feminine, somebody left you out of self-love or they didn't tell you where they was going out of self-love. Divine Feminine, this could be your daughter or something. And Divine Feminine, you could have been being, to her, you was being overbearing or something. But it's understandable because you're a mother. And the cards is telling me to tell you, Divine Feminine, you wasn't wrong. So your, um, your motherly, your mother, you being a mother... It wasn't like toxic divine feminine. So I can't I can't really say overbearing. But if you was being overbearing divine feminine, it wasn't toxic. Or you was being overbearing for a reason or something like that. But somebody been practicing self-love for the past one to two years. Or divine feminine, maybe somebody is teaching you how to do this self-love. So they could have pulled back their energy from you so you can learn self-love. Somebody could have walked away from you two years ago, one to two years ago. So you can do this self-love or something like that. Or so, or they wanted to like love on themselves or something like that. Loving yourself just the way you are, not dimming yourself to fit other people's perceptions, self-care and the beauty. So, Divine Feminine, you might reconcile with someone that you haven't seen in one to two years. Or you might forgive somebody that you could have been upset with. For, yeah, something like that. Lord have mercy. Yeah. So the wife from then you toiling and laboring is not bad. This is you're not being a low vibrational person. Your energy wasn't dark, or it's not going to be dark this week, or you you being going through a hardship. The wife from then is not because you're a karmic. Yeah. So something like that going on. Or Divine Feminine, I don't know if your daughter could have left or this main female left because maybe she's lesbian. And Divine Feminine, maybe you didn't, maybe this person thought you wouldn't approve of their sexuality or their sexual preference. Yeah, so somebody could have left the left state or, or left the country because they wanted to practice self-love like they could be lesbian or something. And Divine Feminine, maybe this person thought that if they would have told you that, that you would have rejected them or something. 
or something. Or something. Give me the scoop with coffin in reverse, eighth house, or the tower. Halloween, something significant about this holiday. So something significant about Halloween. Divine Feminine, something strange could have happened on Halloween. Like somebody could have called your phone and then hung up. It could have been this main female. Or something like that. Something significant about Halloween. Or this tower moment could have happened around on Halloween. <sighs> also keep in mind that this main female could be a man who's in his feminine energy. What's the school with main female hooked and page of wands? What's the scoop? Guarded. Very guarded and protective over heart. So the my feminine, this main female could have definitely been your um your son or your daughter. And the my feminine, you was very guarded and protective over this person. Yeah. Divine Feminine, if somebody did pass away in the past, you're going to find peace about this person's passing. And Divine Feminine, this person is in your energy this week. And Divine Feminine, this main female, your ancestor, she was and still is very, very guarded and protective over you. Yeah. All right, what's the scoop with pathways, self-love, and eight cards? Life purpose, finding your life purpose. Yeah. Divine Feminine, somebody wants you to find your life purpose. Or you're in this, this, all this drama happened to you for a reason. It's not in vain. It's going to aid you in finding your life purpose. Or Divine Feminine, you're smack dab in the midst of your life purpose. And it has something to do with you practicing self-love or this main female practicing self-love. So Divine Feminine, say like a part of your life purpose is learning how to loosen your grip. Like something like that. That could be a part of your life purpose. So it's like somebody got separated from you, Divine Feminine, so you can learn that. That's a part of your life purpose. Or something like that. Or it's teaching you how to teaching you how to have faith or to trust or things like that. All right. What's the school with toy and labor, low vibes and reverse, and three of cups? Guidance. Yeah, you are currently being guided. Divine feminine. You're experiencing some type of hardship for a reason. And it's not really because you did something, it's not because you did something wrong, divine feminine. You're being guided in this toil and labor energy. Or Divine Feminine, you're being guided to this place of work. This could be where you work at. Or you're being guided to some type of hardship. And it's not because you did something wrong. It's just like a part of life. And it's leading somewhere. It's not in vain. It's not for nothing. Yeah. You're in toil and labor because you're being guided. Divine Feminine, you was guided here in this toil and labor. And if that main female is your ancestor, she's the one who could have been guiding you to that energy.
or divine feminine. I don't know if it was a need for you to be humble in the past. And you did your shadow work. So divine feminine, you done. So divine feminine, I don't know if somebody could be bringing up your past. It's like divine feminine, you paid down your karmic debt. So it's like you not prideful no more. And somebody could be bringing up your past. And Divine Feminine, you like, I'm in toil and labor. I am humble. Do you see my clothes? I am humble. What are you talking about? So Divine Feminine, you don't have, you don't got no more shadow work to do. Yeah. Oh, Divine Feminine, I heard you going to get it. You going to get it this week? Or you going to realize something? And Divine Feminine, you going to be rejoicing. You, you going to be happy. Something you won't realize, Divine Feminine. And you're gonna be three cups. Even if even if this is like um personal growth, like you laughing to yourself, you receiving a download revelation. It's like divine feminine, you're gonna realize something. And you're gonna be so happy. Yeah. Divine feminine, divine feminine, you could have been thinking that you're going through something because you a bad person. But actually, you was going through this because you're actually loved. Like something like that. You could have been looking at something the wrong way. Because sometimes when you're trying to tell somebody something, they don't want to listen. They don't listen. So sometimes you just got to let people go through stuff and experience it for themselves. So Divine Feminine, something like that could be going on with you. Or that's what this main female did. She just sat back and was like, Divine Feminine going to learn. She'll get it. <coughs> Or the right feminine, maybe that main female is your mother and you're the daughter or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, you are currently being guided. Whether you toy you a label toy you in labor or not. Divine feminine, somebody probably wants you to be ashamed of yourself, or somebody could be making fun of you because you just keeping it real, you being honest. Or something like that. Yeah, somebody in the past could have walked away because of self-love. And it's something to do with their life purpose. So, to my feminine, you walked away or somebody, this main female did. Or to my feminine, I don't know if... um. When your loved one or something went missing. And they might find like a dead body or something in the woods. And um, it could be a uh, bag. Like the, what they call it. The um, Rick and Mortis. Or the, decomps when the body decomposed or whatever you call it. And it's like Divine Feminine. Y'all could be waiting to get the results back. I don't think it's going to be your loved one. Yeah, somebody might find a body or something. But it's not your loved one, Divine Feminine. Or something like that. So it's like divine feminine. You could be being very hopeful. Because it's like divine feminine. You like, I'm going to walk away. I'm going to emotionally walk away from the negativity. I'm not going to think negative. Because I know the main female wouldn't do that. I know. I know. I know better than that. I know the main female wouldn't just up and leave me like that. It got to be a reason. Like something like that, Divine Feminine. You saying to yourself. Yeah, something like that. So let me put some tea on this. Yeah, Divine Feminine, you are inspirational to someone. Then we got black magic. Someone has been using dark magic. Divine Feminine, I'm picking up this black magic you could put behind you. This is not the issue. So let that let that scenario go. Because Divine Feminine, you are an inspiration to someone. 
So whether this person is deceased or living, Divine Feminine, this was not about black magic. It was about you being an inspiration to someone. Or in spite of this person passing, you inspired this person. Like something like that. Or something like that. Yeah, I don't think... Um, Yeah, something. All right. Give me the tea with Coffin in Reverse, Eighth House, The Tower, and Halloween. Once you back. And I see something else in the cards, but I'm not going to say nothing. Yeah. Yep. So the right feminine, somebody wants you back. This could have been somebody that kept cheating on you in the past. They wouldn't let go of the third party. Um, something kept happening, or the right feminine, you thought something would be over and it wasn't over. Um, or the, somebody went missing or something like that. Um, but whatever the case is. Somebody wanted somebody back or somebody wants somebody back this week or somebody that went, went missing might, um, might become un, unmissed, um, this week. So somebody might find somebody or somebody might come back home or something like that. Cause somebody wants you back to buy for me. This could even be career, too. I just heard career. <laughs> so, no, I'm feminine. I don't know if you wanted to leave this job and your superiors or a co-worker begged you to stay. So, it's like, divine feminine, you probably only stayed somewhere because somebody else begged you to. Or, divine feminine, this could have been a family business. You could have been working for family. And it's like, Divine Feminine, you wanted to leave this family business so bad, but you didn't. For the sake of the main female. Or something. Yeah, Divine Feminine, you could have been getting tired of something in the past or something. Or well, I'm hearing Divine Feminine, don't leave just yet. Give it another year or two or something. Something might not, might not manifest for another year or two. So it's like, Divine Feminine, say like you've been working for this family business for like 10 years. And your family keeps saying, oh, Divine Feminine, we're going to see a profit. We're going to see a profit, Divine Feminine. We're going to see a profit. I'm going to increase your pay, Divine Feminine. As soon as we see a profit, it's like, Divine Feminine, if you stick with it, y'all might um, receive a breakthrough in another year or two. That's if you want to deal with this. This could be a family business, Divine Feminine. Yeah. And it's like Divine Feminine, that money, that big money coming in. You might have to give it another year or two, though. But you got to stick with something. Mm-hmm. All right. What's the tea with main female hook guarded in the Page of Wands? Threatening. Intimidating, threatened, bothered. So the right feminine, yeah. I don't know if somebody could have left you the right feminine because their life was in danger or something. Somebody could have left because their life was in danger or something. Or the right feminine, um, something that you was doing to that main female, they took it the wrong way. And the right feminine, that main female could have just left you because they took something the wrong way or something. What's the tea with pathway, self-love, eight cups, and life purpose?
What's the tea with pathways, self love, eight cups, and life purpose? Always partying. This is my card for somebody that don't, that don't give a damn. Divine Feminine, somebody could have been keeping secrets from you. This person is not a karmic, but this person had addictions, Divine Feminine, that you didn't know about. And Divine Feminine, this person could have left to get their life together. And they probably didn't tell you why. So Divine Feminine, this don't have to be somebody missing, but somebody just left and they didn't tell you why. And Divine Feminine, that could be why. <laughs> somebody could have had addictions that you didn't know about. Yeah, something like that. So the right feminine, this person might go off. They already left you in the past. Or they might leave you this week. And the right feminine, this person gonna be going for one to two years. Cause they going to, they they might go get clean or something. Or something like that. What's the tea with toil and labor, three of cups, low vibes in reverse, and guidance? Yeah, crying over you, sad, hurt, upset, etc. Yeah. Yeah, divine feminine, somebody love you. Or somebody know you love them, divine feminine. So the right feminine, I don't know who this person is. This, it could be your daughter. It could have been your lover. It could have been your child. I don't, yeah. And it's like the right feminine, somebody be watching you. Yeah, somebody was crying over you, the right feminine. Sad, hurt, and upset. So this is either an ancestor or like, yeah, or yeah. Divine Feminine, you might reconcile with someone. Somebody probably can't hold back no more. And it's like, Divine Feminine, you might reconcile with someone because they can't hold back no more. Or something. Or Divine Feminine, somebody going to confess to you and tell you why they left. Or they going to tell you where they was at or something like that. Because Divine Feminine, you ain't do nothing wrong. You didn't do nothing wrong to my family. Um, I also see somebody. Um, yeah, I'm gonna be quiet though. Yeah. Yeah. The my family. Somebody could have left left because they had to. So, I don't know if somebody was after that main female or something. And Divine Feminine, this main female could have been very guarded and protective over you, so they just left. Somebody could have been hooked on that main female and was telling the main female that they could. somebody was threatening you, Divine Feminine, or something. So, somebody left or something. Or Divine Feminine, you had to pretend, Divine Feminine, you probably had to pretend that you didn't care about somebody or that you didn't love someone. You had to pretend or something like that. And that was toy and label. <laughs> Divine Feminine, you had to pretend about something. So I don't know if this was a third party situation in love and somebody was being threatened or something. Or Divine Feminine, this person had to pretend as if they didn't care about you or loved you. Or something like that somebody had to do. Or this could be like a hate crime. Divine Feminine, you could be lesbian. And I don't think this is happening in, in the United States. It could be. But Divine Feminine, you could live like in a different country other than the United States. And you and your lover's life was in danger because y'all lesbian. 
Or it's like this main female, her parents could have found out or something. Somebody found out something and was threatening to kill you, Divine Feminine, because you lesbian or something. So this main female had to act like they didn't care about you. Or this main female, her parents moved her away from you or something like that. Or something. Yeah. So the right feminine, somebody could have did something out of love for you to protect you. Or I don't know if somebody killed that main female, Divine Feminine. And it was, it's like Divine Feminine, you thinking that something was like dark magic or something. Hmm. Divine Feminine, somebody could have hurt that main female. To this, It's like this main female could have sacrificed herself for you. So I don't know what the hell this is. It's like somebody was like, main female, come in. It's either you or divine feminine. Or something like that. I don't know what. But it's like divine feminine. Um, <sighs> yeah, something, something. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to end it. <clears throat> or if somebody got hurt, it was like this person didn't care. It's like this person didn't care that you loved this person or this person loved you. Somebody could have offended somebody and it's, they didn't care. Or this person was jealous of y'all connection, Divine Feminine. Somebody could have been jealous of somebody's connection or something like that. And somebody made somebody leave the country or somebody could have did harm to somebody. And it's like this person didn't even care when they did it. So this is like a hate crime or... Some type of prejudicism, discrimination, or um, something. Yeah. Yeah. But, um... Yeah, so something like that going on, Divine Feminine. So, I'm about use all the cards. <laughs> Still the beans with this coffin in reverse and this energy that's with coffin in reverse. Still the beans. Protecting yourself, needing to keep yourself safe. Yeah. I also heard mistaken identity. So something could have happened to somebody and it was mistaken identity. Somebody is just an idiot. They got the wrong person. Yeah, something could have been a mistaken identity. But it's like the right feminine. I don't know if somebody could be a witness protection. Somebody, um... If somebody is in witness protection, somebody's enemies might pass away or something or something like that. It's like the feminine, the main female or you thought that protecting yourself, needing to protect yourself was over. But it's like something started happening all over again. And then somebody found out I have to still protect myself. I thought this was over. Something like that. What's the spill? It was like, it was a tower moment around somebody protecting somebody. Or Divine Feminine, somebody could have did something because they didn't want you protected. Or something. Protecting yourself, needing to keep yourself safe.
or divine feminine, you or somebody else was thinking that somebody could have kidnapped somebody. So somebody went and protected themselves, but somebody didn't kidnap nobody. This person could have just left or something like that. Spill the beans with this main female over here. And this energy with the main female. Yeah, attracting. Well, I'm also hearing... um, Because this kind of like came out in reverse. It depends on how I look at it. It's like... This is like good versus evil. So, Divine Feminine, I'm going to give you an example of what I see. This happened to you or the main female. Say like somebody got raped. And people around town saying, well, you know, if you get raped, that means you did something. Was you dressing inappropriately? What, what did you do? What did you do? It's like, Divine Feminine, something could have happened to you or the main female. And y'all didn't do nothing to attract this drama in your life. Life could have just happened to y'all. Or this is like good versus evil. Like something like that. It's like divine feminine. You innocent and the main female innocent. It's like y'all didn't even do nothing. Or it's like divine feminine. Yeah, sometimes some things is just like good versus evil. It's like the devil don't like you. Demons don't like you. So they just going to come after you because you blessed. You don't have to do something. You don't have to always do something for um bad things to happen to you. So it's like divine feminine. I don't know something could have happened to you or your family or something. And people is like accusing y'all. They're suspicious of you. It's like divine feminine. The main female, she didn't attract this into her life. It's just something that happened. Or maybe somebody did do harm to the main female. But it's like she didn't provoke this. Somebody just didn't care. And it's like Divine Feminine, it wasn't because you a bad friend or you a bad lover or you was a bad mother. It wasn't something that you did, did or didn't do as a parent. Somebody was just being evil. It's like they didn't care. This was like unprovoked. If it was like a hate crime or something, it was just unprovoked. Yeah, something like that. Or divine feminine, somebody just hated the relationship that you had with that main female. And it's like they did harm to the main female or something. Or somebody threatened the main female and made her leave or something. Something. What's the spell with... Um, yeah, give me the, give me, spill the beans with this pathway, this energy, that's what pathway. Yeah, stay in center, aligning yourself with the universe. Yeah. yeah. So I'm hearing divine feminine, you or somebody else did all y'all could do. Y'all did everything y'all could do, and y'all might receive answer this, answers this week about something. So it's, it could be telling me for the past one or two years, somebody was staying centered, aligning themselves with the universe, looking for answers, trying to figure something out. Why did something happen? Where did so-and-so go? What happened? And it's like Divine Feminine, you still could be struggling. But it's like, as soon as you let it go, you're going to get answers. And Divine Feminine, I don't know. You might be laughing about something. Because you might find out that somebody is not deceased or something like that. Or, or this main female won't message you or something. It's like, as soon as you let something go, Stop crying about it. Stop praying about it. Stop trying to figure it out. Stop doing this. It's like Divine Feminine. You still toil in labor. You could still be hurting about something. But it's like you're going to get answers. 
You're going to get answers. It's like divine feminine. You're going to be. You're currently being guided. About somebody crying over you this week or in the past or something. <laughs> Give me spill the beans with the three of cups with this toy on labor. And this energy with the toy on labor. Spill the beans. Yeah, fake friends. Yeah, somebody. Somebody was being a hater. Or somebody did something not a hate. Or jealousy in the past. Or this week. This is like a hate crime or somebody is like jealous. And it's like somebody split two people up. Out of hate or jealousy. Yeah. Yeah, some fake friends could have did this. It could have been more than one person that was down with it. Or something. Yeah, yeah. some fake friends did something. <laughs> Divine Feminine, you could be in this toil and labor energy because of your fake friends. It wasn't because you was being a karmic. I don't know what this is. Divine Feminine, you toil and labor. You in a dangerous situation or you're working like something going on. Divine Feminine, you didn't do this. Some fake friends did it. Something like that. Something to do with fake friends. Yeah. That's spilling the beans. Or it's like divine feminine. Say like the main female is your daughter or something. It's like divine feminine. Your daughter could have went missing or something. And you was thinking, oh, I was being too hard on her. And that's why she left. Or It's like divine feminine. You was beating yourself up. But divine feminine, one of your fake friends threatened your daughter. Yo, somebody could have said, if you don't leave the country, I'm going to kill your mother or something like that. Somebody said something to that main female. Yeah, it was your fake friends. It's like the right family, you didn't do nothing wrong. Yeah, somebody trifling. Yep, or something like that. Or some drama going on at work. It could be some drama going on at work. And Divine Feminine, you could be under investigation. Or you could have got demoted in the past or um, this week. And Divine Feminine, you didn't do nothing wrong. Your fake friends did something. And it could they could have been jealous of you, Divine Feminine, because the main female could be your superior. And she thinks highly of you, Divine Feminine. <coughs> so your co-workers did something to you. They did something. Yeah. To get you demoted or something. So, this could have been dark magic. Yeah, somebody could have did, did dark magic. This is hate or jealousy. If this is in career, the wife of that, that main female could be your superior. And she know you didn't do this. She know you didn't do this. But it could be like some type of investigation going on. And that main female, she got to be fair. But the wife of that main female know you didn't do this. Or something. Yeah. Or this could be a third party situation in love going on or something like that. Yeah, so. Then we got to show more gratitude again. Show more gratitude. Things are becoming too much to bear. Divine Feminine, I don't think that's you. Who Your fake friends could be getting karma this week. And they're at their breaking point. Because Divine Feminine, something could have been going on for the past one to two years. And some something is not working out how these people thought it was. So they're at their breaking point. Because someone is very stuck in their ways. Yep. Somebody is, a, is lying. Somebody told a lie. 
So the white feminist say like your daughter, one of your fake friends threatened you and, and told your daughter, I want you to leave the country or I'm going to kill your mother. Divine Feminine, you went through the whole shebang. And Divine Feminine, you keep saying, I don't think my baby, I don't think my daughter is dead. I don't think she's dead. My daughter was not a prostitute. She was not a gangbanger. I don't think nothing happened to my daughter. I can't put my finger on it, but I don't think my daughter is dead. It's like Divine Feminine, somebody, and it's like somebody at their breaking point. Somebody at their breaking point, Divine Feminine. Because somebody lied about something. Yeah. And it's like, Divine Feminine, you won't accept something that somebody wants you to accept. You just won't accept it. Or something. Or Divine Feminine, somebody trying to tell you you was guilty, you wrong. You the reason why your daughter ran away. And you the reason why your daughter could have got sprung out on drugs. or. And it's like, Divine Feminine, you like, I know I'm... It's like divine feminine. Um, let go and let God. So it's like divine feminine. Once you ask the angels, is it me? Did I do something wrong? Was I really that bad of a person? Was I really that bad of a mother? It's like divine feminine. Ask the angels and let it go. Cause somebody lied, and somebody lying to you. It's not true what this person is saying. Somebody was threatening somebody. Somebody that's very protective over you, Divine Feminine, or somebody that you was very protective over. Somebody did something out of hate or jealousy. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Divine Feminine, you're not a great actor putting on the show. You're not a liar. So, Divine Feminine, you could know something intuitively. Yeah. So, Divine Feminine, somebody is fighting you. It's like somebody wants you to let go of your intuition and believe them. Oh, your daughter just left. She just ran away. Something somebody's saying, and it's like Divine Feminine, you like, uh-uh. I know me and or that main female is not a liar. We don't act. We don't put on the show. It's like Divine Feminine, somebody wants you to let something go. And it's not the angels. It's this person that was lying to you. But Divine Feminine, your angel saying Divine Feminine. Just ask us and let it go. Don't argue with this person. Don't argue with these people. Because in due time, Divine Feminine, you're going to get the answers that, you, that you're looking for. And then we got the police. You know? It's like don't even don't don't argue. Cause somebody did something. Somebody did something and they trying to cover it up. And it's like divine feminine, somebody wanna blame you for something that they did. Or they don't want you to figure out what they did or something like that. Yeah, bad choices. Mm-hmm. Divine feminine, I don't know if somebody could have did something to your daughter, one of your lovers or something. Bad choices. Get in the room. Divine Feminine, one of your lovers could have wanted you all to themselves and threatened your daughter or something and made your daughter leave town or something. Yeah, this man don't want you to know that, but he shouldn't have did that. And Divine Feminine, then he telling you, oh, I heard your daughter was in the prostitution. She was in the gang. Well, Divine Feminine, you said you was you was very harsh to her when y'all when you was raised to her. So maybe she just left. Or maybe she Divine Feminine. Bad choices. Yeah, somebody lied. Yeah, it's over it, tired of the drama. Yeah. Yeah. And then we got someone wants forgiveness. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. Divine Feminine, let your angels and ancestors work on this. Whatever this is. Because you're going to get some type of peace of mind, answers, and or confirmation about something that you knew intuitively, Divine Feminine. Yeah. Because somebody was lying on somebody, Divine Feminine, that you care about. Or somebody lied on somebody that you care about. 
or somebody that you care about, somebody told this person a lie about you or something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, then we got a hater. Yeah, caught up. Yeah. Or the vice that I don't know if your lover did harm to his third party. Yeah, your lover could have did harm to the third party. Mm-hmm. Knowing they effed up. And the right feminine, you gonna say, if you killed that woman, you get out of my house. If you killed that woman, you get out. Or something like that. The right feminine, you gonna say to somebody. Yeah. So I'm going to end it. So this is Blood Queen Tarot. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and or share. And Divine Feminine, enjoy the week and thanks.